All right, today on Free Field Training, we are looking at backup brace. Backup brace is a leather or nylon, depending on which variety you get, back brace that goes on your duty belt. It's supposed to alleviate lower back pain. We're gonna take a close look at it today. I'm gonna tell you some of my impressions after using it for a couple of months. Where are you going? Get out of the way! So backup brace comes in four different varieties and two different styles. There's a little more on that in a second. It comes in a plastic bag and on the front is the label and also the instructions. The instructions are pretty easy to follow. You're going to kind of see after you see it put on my belt how it goes on. The four different finishes are a plain leather finish, a high gloss finish, a nylon finish, and a basket weave finish. The basket weave finishes on the back of my belt here. I've been using this for a couple of months. The way these work is you loop your duty belt through the backup brace and then it sits between your duty belt on the outside and your inner belt and your body on the inside. So what it does is it spreads out the weight of your duty belt, which is normally two inches or two and a quarter inches, depending on if you have a more traditional style of Sam Brown duty belt or a new more nylon style like I have. And it gives more surface area to the back of the duty belt up against your back. So you've got all that weight on the front of your belt pulling the belt forward. And this just spreads the area of that pull forward out on your back. Now there's two different designs for this. One is the leather finish designs. This is plain leather here. You can see it's just a piece of plain leather with stitching around the outside. It's pretty thick and holes cut in it where you're gonna slide your belt through and where you are going to put belt keepers which hold the backup brace and your outside belt and your inside belt together. The nylon version also adds Velcro to the surface of the backup brace and it has a different attachment method where you've got these loop throughs instead of cuts in the material. So if you're using a belt that has Velcro on the inside, you can loop it through this and then your belt will stick to the backup brace and hold it in place a lot easier. And it also has a place for belt keepers which are included with it. So let's take a little look at it actually on a duty belt. I'll show you how it works. This is my duty belt here. You can see in the little link up in the corner an explanation of what the belt generally looks like before I put the backup brace on. I've been running this for a couple of months and it's pretty evident how it works. What you do is you take all of the duty belt attachments off of one side of the belt and you slide this through, running your duty belt through the slots in here. There's only one size of this. This is the two inch belt. You can see there's just the slightest bit of shake. It will also fit in a two and a quarter inch, more Sam Brown type belt. And it comes in two sizes, one that is for people with 33 inch and larger waist and one for people with 32 inch and smaller waist. And what you do is you put your belt on, your pants, and you put your duty belt on that has the backup brace already installed, and you run the included belt keepers, they have Velcro belt keepers that come with this through your belt and the backup brace and around your inner belt. And it holds it all together. You can also attach things to the open areas of your duty belt, even with the backup brace attached. That doesn't clear off the back of your belt. If you're one of those people who likes putting things on the back of their belt, I generally don't for safety reasons, but I know some people are significantly smaller, not nearly as fat as I am, so that might be a concern for some people. I have found that the best way to use the belt keepers is to keep the Velcro on the outside with the tab up. It seems to unsnap the belt keepers a lot less and it sucks the belt closer to my body, which is important because the brace only works when it's in pretty close contact with the outside of your body. Again, it's supposed to spread the weight of your duty belt out. It takes a little getting used to putting it on because you have to thread belt keepers through one more thing. It's like having to thread it through two inner belts instead of one outer belt, but it's pretty easy once you get used to it. There isn't the whole strap issue with suspenders that I would normally use. You've seen suspender videos before on the channel. And it's very, very simple to take off. You're just taking off these 
belt keepers just like you would any other belt keepers. It doesn't take any extra effort. You just slide them off as if there were any other keepers on your back. In fact, I find it a little easier because the belt keepers stay put because they're stuck in place by the backup brace. You don't do the, the slide around the back of your belt thing. So that's backup brace. It's pretty ingeniously simple. They retail at $69.95. That's the price that they're running at right now. There is a variety for every finish of duty belt that I have being used around my area. And they integrate with every belt that is being used currently for police and security work. If you have a problem with lower back pain like I do, I highly suggest it. It's helped quite a bit with my lower back pain issues and it is very simple and easy to use. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you.